Praise the Lord. Everybody, I said, Praise the Lord. Tonight, the Lord will bless you specially. Everything you've been praying for, all that you've been looking to God for, salvation, healing, deliverance, miracles from God, the Lord will pour upon everyone tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name because we know you are good. You are good to all. To every individual. You are good to all. To every family. You are good to all. You are good to our country here. And you are good to every nation. We're asking tonight you open the heavens for everyone. And your blessings will come upon everyone. Great peace. Great healing. Great deliverance. Great miracle upon everyone tonight. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have done it. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you. God bless everyone. You can sit down. Tonight we begin a special GCK. Global Crusade. Coming to everyone with power, with unction, with overflowing anointing. You will not miss your miracle. I said you will not miss your miracle. Tonight I'm looking at Luke chapter 2. And I'm reading from verse 10. Luke chapter 2 verse 10. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of good of great joy, which shall be to all people. An angel came from heaven, and he came to do shepherds at night, and he announced to them what they needed to acknowledge in their lives, what they have been searching for, what they have been praying for, what they have been dreaming of. The angel came and told them, first of all, he said, fear not. All your fears are taken away. All my fears are taken away. When Christ comes, the Savior, the Prince of Peace, everything you feared, you feared in the past. And then you borrow your past and you look at that to make up your future. Fears in the past. Fears at the present time. And fears in the future. The angel said that now that that same Christ is coming upon your life, fear not. He will save your soul. Fear not. He will give you peace. Fear not. He will reconcile you with heaven. Fear not, it will remove your mountain. Fear not, it will heal your sickness. How will that happen? Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. 
that great joy is for you that great salvation is for you that great miracle is for you it shall be for all people look at verse 11 it says for unto you is born this day in the city of David a savior which is Christ the Lord Think about it as if this is for you in particular. For unto you, unto you, every problem you have unto you is born this day in the city of David. A savior that will save you from sin, save you from sickness, save you from satanic power, save you from every sin that had bombarded your life until today where are you a savior has come to you a healer has come to you a deliverer has come to you a redeemer has come to you what's his name the angel said he is christ the Lord then he tells us in verse 12 it says and they shall be a sign unto you ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger and then in verse 13 and suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying verse 14 glory to God for the peace that comes glory to God for the joy of heaven come to earth, glory to God. For miraculous wonders that he comes to give us, glory to God. For the peace, for the pardon, glory to God. For the power he brings from heaven, glory to God. For the miracle you are going to receive today glory to god glory to god in the highest and on earth peace on earth where we are now peace on earth where you're seated there peace peace in your heart Peace in your home. Peace all around you. From tonight, as you come and you receive Christ into your life. Peace on earth and goodwill toward men. From that passage I read to you now, we're looking at unique, salutary peace through faith in Christ. Peace unique. Coming in your soul. Coming in your heart. The kind of peace you had never known. That no turmoil on earth can disturb. Peace unique. There is salutary there. The peace that comes with salvation. And it is through faith in Christ. Christ, the same Christ. Christ, the saving Christ. Christ, the mighty Christ. As powerful today as he ever was. Unique salutary peace through faith in Christ tonight you are going to have it 
Say, I am going to have it. We're looking at three things before we pray. Number one, announcing the good news of peace. Angel coming from heaven. Announcing the good news of peace. To everyone. To you. To me. To her. To him. In that nation. Online. Angels announcement coming to you. Announcing the good news of peace. Number two, acknowledging the great need of peace. You have to acknowledge it in your own heart. That what God has brought is the most important thing in your life. I acknowledge. I acknowledge, I affirm that actually I need peace, peace with God, peace within myself, and peace with my neighbor. It's a need we cannot deal without. Acknowledging the great need of peace. Number three, at advancing in God's nature of peace. That's the nature of God. Anyone that comes near God, anyone reconciled with God, anyone that becomes a member of the family of God, the nature of God will pass into him. And the nature of God is not the nature of violence. It's not the nature of cruelty. It's not the nature of fighting. The nature of God is the nature of peace. And when we come to know the Lord, He transfers and transmits that same peace he has that he is. He transfers that into our lives. Advancing in God's nature. Without the nature of God, we'll be retrogressing. We will not advance. Because it is only God that promotes us, that lifts us up. And when we have that nature of God, he, advance, he advances us, he lifts us up, he makes us to have progress. Advancing in God's nature of peace. Look at the announcement there, number one. Number one, announcing the good news of peace. As we read already, God sent an angel from far away heaven here to the earth. He says, go tell them. Go tell every man, every woman. Go tell every person on earth that that peace we could not have for ourselves. The Father in heaven, God of all peace, is now sending that down to us. And the angel said, it will be for all people. It is for you tonight. I said it is for you tonight. Isaiah chapter 52. And I'm reading there from verse 6. It says, Therefore, my people shall know my name. Uh, uh, that's the beginning. My people shall know my name. 
You know his name as the Prince of Peace. You know his name as the Savior. You know his name as the Lord. You know his name as the breaker of every yoke in life. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that does speak. Behold, it is I. He said, he is the one speaking. He is speaking to you tonight. And with his voice, with his word, peace will come in your life. And then, in, in, and then in verse 7, it says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that publisheth, promotes, proclaims, and declares peace. That bringeth good tidings of good, that publishes salvation, that says unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. He publishes peace. He comes to give you peace as you open your heart. And say, let the peace of peace come in. The peace of the Lord that rules and reigns will come in your life. When there's no peace, we're torn apart. When there's no peace, there's confusion in the heart. When there's no peace, there's commotion in the heart. There's no health. It's when the peace of God settles in your heart. When the peace of God pervades all your life, it will change your thoughts. It will change your mind. It will change your action. Your hand will feel the peace. Your feet will go in the direction of peace. Your mind will think the thoughts of peace. Your activities will be activities of peace. Your relationship will be a relationship of peace. Your interaction will be an interaction of peace with everybody. And the Lord has come tonight to declare unto you the peace of God that will reign in your heart. Hey, look at verse 10 of that Isaiah chapter 52. The Lord has made bare his holy arm. In the eyes of all the nations. In Cameroon here, peace. All the nations of the world hearing the voice of God and the word of God and the provision of peace in all nations, peace. In every heart, open to the Lord, Confessing to the Lord, I've not been having peace. I've not been enjoying peace. I've not been experiencing peace. As you open your mind and open your heart and open your life unto the Lord, abundant peace will come in your heart. Any nation where you are, any community where you are, as you hear what the Lord has said, announcing the good news of peace, 
And you know what? The restlessness has been causing your life. And you say, I abandon that. I confess that. I forsake that. Every thought, every imagination, every action that has taken peace away from my heart. I confess, I forsake, I reject. Christ, Prince of Peace, enter into my heart. When Christ enters your heart, when the Prince of Peace enters your heart, peace universal, peace with God, peace with man, peace from heaven, peace on earth, in whatever condition you have been in the past, the peace of God from tonight will reign in your heart. That's how we know that we have the Prince of Peace. That's how we know we have the peace that comes with salvation. If somebody says, I'm saved, I'm a child of God, but there's no peace in the heart, there's no peace in his thinking, there's no peace in his action, there's no peace in interaction with people. That person to be very sure of real, real salvation has to open the door of the heart for the Prince of Peace to come in. It's not good enough to go to church in the morning and in the afternoon of that Sunday. We're fighting, we're violent. It's not good to bend the knee and bow the head for the Prince of Peace in the worship. And then outside, we're cruel to all the people. That one is hypocrisy. But when the Prince of Peace comes in, the peace of God will reign in our hearts, in our mind, in our lives, in our interaction with every other person. And then he says, all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. All the ends of the earth. You here tonight. Him there over there. And herself over there. Everyone everywhere. Meet the Lord and meet the Prince of Peace. I welcome peace in my heart. I welcome the Prince of Peace in my heart. The peace that pervades every area of your life. In Romans chapter 10, I'm reading from verse 15. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. And how shall they preach except they be saved? As it is written, how beautiful at the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. How beautiful at the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. If the preachers of the gospel of peace, if their feet are beautiful, then the preachers of the gospel of, of the, of the uh, message of fighting violence, their feet are ugly. And before you can preach, you have to possess. 
before you can preach, you have to enjoy the peace yourself. And then you possess, you provide, you preach, you delight in the gospel of peace. And your feet will be beautiful. Say amen now. Your heart will be beautiful. The beauty of the heart reflects in the face. The ugliness of the heart reflects on the face. It's when you possess the peace of God. You enjoy the peace of God. Inside you, there is the peace of God. Then it says, feet beautiful, face beautiful, life beautiful, appearance beautiful. Because the peace of God reigns in your heart. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of great things. Look at verse 16. In verse 16, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. It's talking about some religious people in the land of Israel. At that time, it says, they have not all obeyed the gospel of peace. They have not all invited the prince of peace to their lives. They have not all interacted with the peace of God by faith. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who has believed our report. Then in verse 17, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. To link up with God, we need faith. To access the peace of God, we need faith. To link up, hook up with the peace of God and the salvation of God, we need faith. We'll forget ourselves and we'll look at Christ, the Prince of Peace. Tonight, I believe in God. Say that, I believe in God. It's that faith that brought you here. It's that faith that makes you have expectation. It's that faith that makes you say, once I have the call tonight, I'm going to go to God through Christ. And then the Prince of Peace will make your heart, your life, have peace. With peace, there will be salvation. With peace, there will be healing. With peace, there will be deliverance. With peace, the miracle of God will flow into your heart freely. Say, I believe. Tonight, I come to Christ. Say that now. Tonight, I come to Christ. And the Prince of Peace will reign in my heart. Amen. 
Look at number two there. Number two, acknowledging the great need of peace. I acknowledge peace, the need in my life. You see, when we don't have peace with our neighbors, we lose a lot. Help us cannot help us. We don't have peace with them. Providers cannot provide for us if we don't have peace with them. Carers cannot care for us if we don't have peace with them. Philanthropic people cannot have, uh, provide anything for us if we don't have peace with them. Enemies cannot reconcile with us if we don't have peace with them. Life is miserable if we don't have peace with people around us. And God cannot accept us into heaven if we don't have peace with him. Christ cannot bring us into all the provisions of Calvary if we don't have peace with him. You see that all around you, you'll be a lonely, lone ranger if you don't have peace. We need peace with everyone around. And we come to acknowledge before the Lord. No single person can live happily on earth without peaceful interaction, association, reconciliation, relationship with people. And so you acknowledge the great need of peace. How does that happen? When I say I cannot manufacture peace, I cannot do the peace by myself. There is a creator in heaven. The name God Almighty is the God of peace. He is the one that creates the peace through the Lord Jesus Christ for our soul, for our spirit, for our body, for our existence on earth. In Romans chapter 5, reading from verse 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God. That word justify means we were guilty. We were brought into the law court. Our conscience argued against us. The record in the book of God argues against us. Our character argues against us. We're guilty and condemned. And if we stop there, we'll go into the prison after being judged that we're guilty. The prison is an eternal prison. The guilty sinner, the condemned sinner, will be there forever and ever. But Christ, the Prince of Peace, Christ, the one that had no sin, the perfect one, the sinless one, the spotless one, Christ, our Savior, Christ our Lord, our advocate, he came and he said, I'll bear his punishment. 
even though we were guilty and condemned, Christ has now come to take our sin, to take our punishment, to take the consequence of all the evil we have done. And it says, therefore, being justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. No other means of having peace. No other means of manufacturing peace and putting in your heart. In the day and in the night, that commotion and confusion will be there. But we look unto Christ, the Christ that died for us, the Christ that took our guilt away, the Christ that took our punishment away. We have total or reserved faith in Him. Therefore, now being justified by faith, we rely on Him. We rest on him. And we put all the weight and all the load of our guilt upon him. And through that faith in Christ, we now have peace with God. Understand? If you have peace with everybody around you, you try to use psychology. But psychology doesn't work with God. It only works with some people around you. We will try to use philosophy. And remember, philosophy doesn't work with God. We can only manipulate human beings. If you have peace with every man, every woman on earth, and you don't have peace with God, you cannot spend eternity in heaven. So, psychology doesn't get you to heaven. Philosophy doesn't get you to heaven. Maneuvering by human beings doesn't get you to heaven. Only peace with God gets you to heaven. And the only way to have that peace with God is through our Lord Jesus Christ. You come into the kingdom of God. A change happens in your life. Now you have the peace of God. And with that peace, they same Jesus will bring solution to every problem in your life. Tonight, as we link up with Jesus, tonight, as we believe in Jesus, solution will come to every problem of your life. Acts chapter 10, verse 36. Acts chapter 10, verse 36. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel. Preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. Peace by Jesus Christ. And he is the Lord of all in every nation, in all nations. And as you receive Christ tonight, Prince of Peace, come to my heart. I confess I didn't have peace. But now I confess you are the peace of my life. Every problem in your life, he'll come in, he'll take away. Look at verse 38. 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth or the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. That same Jesus is here tonight. As we mentioned his name. Uh, let me ask you. You're sitting down quietly. You're looking at this direction. Then somebody mentions your name. What do you do? I didn't know there's somebody here that knew my name. And then as we're looking in this direction. And you heard your name. You turn around. You want to know where that voice mentioning your name is coming from. And he looks at you face to face. And he smiles. And he mentions your name again. He smiled. And the way he pronounced your name attracted you. And then he beckons on you. Come. When, whenever we mention the name of Jesus, he looks our direction. Who is mentioning my name there? I am so and so. I need your peace. Who is calling on my name there? I am so and so. I need your healing. Who mentions my name there? I am so and so. I am a sinner. I want your salvation. Anytime we mention his name, he looks our direction. Mention that name. I said, shout out that name. Now he's looking at your direction. Look at him, he's coming to you now. His salvation is coming to you now. His healing is coming to you now. And nobody can block the way of Christ coming to you tonight. Behold, he comes. The Savior comes. The Prince of Peace comes. And the, the, the healer comes. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. Remember Jesus the same yesterday, today and forever. God is still with him. God is still with Christ. And today he comes with all the power of heaven and earth. It's going to touch your life. It's going to turn everything around. Look at Romans chapter 16 verse 20. Romans chapter 16 verse 20. And the God of Peace. That's the name of God. And the God of peace. And tonight he shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Every evil thing that Satan brought from his heart and he wants to throw at you. Tonight the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. Tonight, God will grant you pardon. Tonight, God will grant you peace. 
Tonight, God will grant your power. When you stand to pray tonight, you will stand on top of every mountain in your life. When you stand to pray tonight, all sicknesses will come under your feet. You will match them, you will trample on them. You will live here tonight with victory in your soul. Peace and pardon in your heart. Life of victory will follow you home tonight in Jesus' name. Because the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. 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 Tonight it will happen to you. Look at number three here. Advancing in God's nature of peace. I came to tell you tonight, you will advance. You will move up. You will get up. You will go forward. The children of Israel were coming out of Egypt. They wanted to go to the land of promise. All of a sudden, look at the Red Sea before them. All of a sudden, look at the Egyptian army behind them. All of a sudden, they saw the hindrances and the blockages by their sides. Where do we go? Shall we go back to the world, to our sins, to our slavery? What do we do? They prayed unto God. They mentioned the name of God. When you mention the name of God, it will show up. And God has all power. He will destroy everything that is after your life. I didn't hear heavenly amen there. And Moses began to pray. And God said, I'm here. Your prayer is enough. Tell the children of Israel, go forward. They had fear and palpitation in their heart before that voice came. God now said, fear not. You will advance. I'm talking to somebody there tonight. Fear not, you will advance. All the things that pinned you down before, everything is broken tonight. And God told Moses, He says, stretch forth your rod. Something happened that they had never known or read about in history. Something will happen today. Tonight in your life that you have never read about or heard about. What happened? Moses stretched the rod. And the Red Sea parted wide. And all the children of Israel went over. They didn't go over in the direction of Egypt. They went over in the direction of the promised land. Tonight, you will go over. 
tonight you will advance in the direction of heaven not in the direction of hell amen you'll go forward you'll advance because now you are going to have the nature of God and you'll move forward how will that happen Moses believed God he stretched out the road the children of Israel believe God they move forward Mark chapter 1 I'm reading from verse 14 in Mark chapter 1 verse 14 now after that John was put in prison Jesus came into Galilee. And Jesus has come into Cameroon. Jesus is here in Douala. That place where you are and you are listening to the message, Jesus is there. Preaching, preaching, proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of God. Look at verse 15. And seeing the time is fulfilled. The time has come. My time has come. Your time has come. The time of peace for your heart, that time has come. The time of pardon from God, that time has come. The time of power from the Lord, from the cross, from Calvary, that has come for you tonight. The time of protection, preservation, that time has come. The time of the fulfillment of the promise of God to give us peace, your time has come. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. In the kingdom of man, there's violence. In the kingdom of God, there is peace. In the kingdom of man, there's hatred, there's retaliation, there's revenge. In the kingdom of God, there's abundance of love. In the kingdom of man, they say, we'll never forgive that man. We'll never forgive that woman. We'll never forgive that man and that family. We'll never forgive that community. Kingdom of man. In the kingdom of God, there is abundance and free flow of the forgiveness of God. In the kingdom of man, there's oppression, there's depression. In the kingdom of man, there is a kind of, a, a kind of suffering imposed upon people. In the kingdom of God, all your yokes are broken. All the oppression is taken away, and there's peace, and there's healing, there's redemption, there's deliverance in the kingdom of God. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Light and darkness cannot remain in the same vicinity at the same time. 
when the kingdom of God comes in your heart, the kingdom of man, the kingdom of Satan, the kingdom of the God of this world will vanish away from your life. You now have to make your choice. You want to remain in totally, completely in that kingdom of man. With all the oppression, with all the sicknesses, with all the evil things, with all the deception, with all the suffering, the kingdom of man. Or you want to come out of that kingdom of darkness? And come into the kingdom of God. So that tonight you can have peace. So that tonight you can have joy. So that tonight you can have deliverance. So that tonight you can have health and healing. So that tonight you can have the provision of God upon your life. So that tonight is salvation and readiness for heaven will come upon you, kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is at hand. I choose the kingdom of God. I choose the kingdom of peace. Say it. I choose the kingdom of heavenly provision. It says, now repent ye and believe the gospel. Very simple. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Turn away from the kingdom of darkness. The kingdom of sinfulness. The, sin, the kingdom of evil. Turn away, turn away, repent. And believe the good news. The good news announced by the angel. Peace on earth. And glory to God. The peace of God is coming to your heart right now. And your life will bring glory to God. And the Lord will take you from here when the time has come. You will live forever with him in heaven. Repent ye and believe the good news. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Ready to repent? Ready to turn away from your sin? Ready to turn away from all that violence and fighting and cruelty in your life? To believe the good news. And to believe the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. And to surrender your life unto the Lord. Ready? Ready? It's bowed and eyes closed. You have heard the announcement. You now need to acknowledge. It's only after that advance and progress will come in your life. It's bowed and eyes closed. You're saying, I want to get away from the kingdom of darkness. I want to come to the kingdom of Christ, the light of the world. Anywhere you are, you raise up your hand. And you are saying, Lord, I repent. 
I turn away from evil. I turn away from darkness. I turn away from violence and fighting. I turn away from the kingdom of the world. I come to the kingdom of God. I want the peace in his kingdom. The new life in his kingdom. I desire the provision from the kingdom. I want the help of God. Peace in my heart. Peace in my thought. Peace in my imagination. Peace in my plans. Raise up that hand and you are telling the Lord, Oh Lord, I'm here. I want that peace announced by the angel. I acknowledge my need of the peace of God in my heart. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. You are standing up now for the peace of God to come into your heart. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. You are standing up to surrender your life to Christ. And to say, Lord, here I am. I surrender my life totally into your hands. Take away the confusion in my heart. Take away the condemnation in my heart. Take away the damnation that shall come as a result of my sinfulness. Reconcile me unto the Heavenly Father. Forgive me all my sins. And let your peace descend into my heart. You raise up your hand and then you stand up. And that peace will come. I'm praying for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you have invited us. And you have brought peace for everyone. I pray that in your love and mercy and compassion, you forgive all their sins in Jesus' name. Grant pardon for everyone. Heavenly pardon. Royal pardon. The pardon from the King of Kings. Forgive all their sins as they believe on Christ right now. And let the peace of God now reign in their hearts. Let the joy of salvation now be evident in their lives. Turn their lives around. Let there be a real transformation in every life. And bring the old habit and the old lifestyle under their feet right now. In Jesus' name. Confirm your salvation in every heart. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God has done it. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Keep on standing there. Our counselors are coming. They'll take your names and take all those details for us to know you have come into the peace of the Prince of Peace. 
I call on our national overseer to help us during this time. And then after I come back, your healing is ready in heaven. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. The counselors are around you there. Les conseillers sont autour de vous. Give them your correct name. Donnez-leur vos informations correctes. You write it down as it is. Et remplissez le formulaire comme ça se doit. In your documents or your ID, the way they are calling you. Et écrivez vos noms selon votre CNI, comme c'est écrit. And then you should give the quarter where you stay. Donnez le nom du quartier où vous habitez. Give your correct phone number. Donnez votre bon numéro de téléphone. So that the our convener of the GCK is going to continue to. Pray for you. Pour que notre organisateur de la CMK continue de prier pour vous. And then they will counsel you. Et on va vous conseiller. So counselors, you should take their correct address. Donc que les conseillers prennent la bonne adresse. Your name, vos noms, your number, vos numéros, and you give a direction to how we can get you. Et donner une localisation pour vous retrouver. Uh, whether you stay in this quarter, si vous habitez dans ce quartier, you might be in Mabanda. Peut-être que vous êtes à Mabanda. You might be in Lokpom. Peut-être que c'est à Lokpom. You might be in Borno Dus. Peut-être à Borno Dus. Or PK 14. Ou à PK 14. Or anywhere. Ou n'importe où. Where you have come from. D'où vous venez. It could be in Yaoundé. Peut-être vous venez de Yaoundé. In the north. Du nord. Or southwest or west. Du sud-ouest ou de l'ouest. Put your correct address. Mettez votre bonne adresse. So that they can help you. Afin qu'on puisse vous aider. Spiritually, spiritually, so that you can grow in the Lord. Afin que vous puissiez grandir dans le the Seigneur. The counselors are there. Les conseillers sont là. Please give your correct name. S'il vous plaît, donnez vos bons noms. So that you can be helped continually. Pour qu'on continue de vous aider. So on how you can grow. Sur comment vous pouvez grandir. Grow in the Lord. Grandir dans le Seigneur. There is going to be a lunch hour tomorrow. Il y aura une un moment de rassemble de déjeuner demain. In the tent on my left here. Ici à ma gauche sous la tente. Where you will spend time with Jesus. Où vous passerez du temps avec Jésus. And know how you can grow. Et savoir comment vous pouvez grandir. And I know the Lord will bless you. Et je sais que le Seigneur vous bénira. The peace of God, which has come into your heart today, la paix de Dieu qui est déjà dans votre cœur, will enable you to continue with Jesus. Vous aidera à continuer avec Jésus. Counselors, conseiller, go near them. Rapprochez-vous d'eux. Go to where they are. Allez là où ils sont. And get the correct address. Et recevez leur bonne adresse. No long, long thing to write, but. Just their name, their number, and their address. N'écrivez pas trop, juste nom, prénom, numéro de téléphone et leur adresse. Counselors, conseiller, do it. Faites-le. And after that, the man of God is coming again to pray. Après ça, l'homme de Dieu revient pour prier. Miracles that you have never seen before. Les miracles que vous n'avez jamais vu autrefois. Will happen here today. Vont se produire ici ce soir. Counselors get to where they are. Conseillers arrivez là où ils sont. Yes, take the correct address. Oui, prenez leur bonne adresse. The quarter where you stay. Le quartier où vous habitez. If there is any public place there where you can direct, come behind this boulangerie. S'il y a un lieu connu là-bas que vous pouvez nous indiquer en disant par exemple derrière cette boulangerie ou à côté de tel supermarché ou à côté de ce parking ou derrière cette boutique populaire 
or behind this such and such a school ou derrière telle école and put down your telephone number et donner vos numéros de téléphone and give your real name et donner votre vrai nom or the name with which you are called in le, the quarter le nom avec lequel vous êtes connu au quartier this is going to help the people that have been in the Lord to help you on how to grow. Ça va aider ceux-là qui sont dans le Seigneur à vous aider à grandir. Cancelos, le conseil. Please give, put down your name. S'il vous plaît, écrivez vos noms. If nom. you don't know how to write, you can ask some the counselors to help you to write. Si vous ne savez pas écrire, demandez au conseiller de vous aider à écrire. The counselors behind there. Le conseiller là-bas derrière. Please take the information. S'il vous plaît, prenez les this informations. This is to help you. Ça c'est pour vous aider. To grow. À grandir. That's to help you to grow. C'est pour vous aider à grandir. That's to help you to continue in the Lord. C'est pour vous aider à continuer dans le Seigneur. Counselors, do it. Conseiller, faites-le. The counselors in the middle here, if you have uh, finished, you should lift up. You, you should raise your hand to indicate that you are through. Les conseillers qui sont ici au milieu, si vous avez fini, levez la main pour indiquer que vous avez fini. Those on my right hand side here, qui you will also droite, indicate. Faites-nous signe that you are through. Que vous avez fini. If you are watching online, si vous nous regardez en ligne, and you are following this global crusade in all the continents of the world, et vous suivez cette croisade mondiale de par tous les continents au pays Europe, du monde, en Europe, in Asia, en Asie, depuis l'Asie, in America, en Amérique, in India, en Inde, and in all the continents and subcontinents of the world. Et dans tous les continents et les sous-continents dans and le monde. And you have given your life to Jesus Christ. Si vous avez donné votre vie à Jésus. After the pastor's message this evening. Après le message du pasteur de ce soir. There is a link. Il y a un lien. That you can queue in to le, give your information. Sur lequel vous pouvez cliquer et donner vos informations. It is GCK. C'est GCK HQ HQ dot org. Point org. You connect with Christ. Vous vous connectez avec Christ. Below your player, en bas, click it and fill the form that is there. Cliquez dessus et remplissez le formulaire qui so est. So that we can assist you further. Pour in your nous, new walk with Christ. Pour que nous puissions vous assister dans votre nouvelle marche avec Christ. Also, aussi, if you are listening via the radio, si vous nous écoutez par la radio, or television, ou par télévision, and you just give your life to Christ, et vous venez de donner votre vie à Christ, send your name, et envoyez votre nom, your phone number, votre numéro de téléphone, and your location address, et votre adresse de localisation, via SMS, par SMS, or WhatsApp. Ou par WhatsApp. Two plus. Au numéro plus. Two three four. Deux cent trente-quatre. One five four four four. Quinze cent trente-quatre neuf deux six three. Soixante-trois. Plus two three four. Plus deux cent trente-quatre. Nine one five. Quatre neuf cent quinze. Four four four. Quatre cent quarante-quatre. Nine two six three. Neuf cent vingt-six. There will be a special meeting. Il y aura une réunion spéciale. Tomorrow. Demain. In the tent on my left hand side. Dans la tente à ma gauche. It is titled 
Launch hour with Jesus. Qui est intitulé une heure avec Jésus. For all those who gave their lives to Jesus, Christ, to Jesus. Pour tous ceux qui ont donné leur vie à Jésus. Tomorrow by 2:30 p.m. Demain à 14h30. At the ministers' conference hall. À la salle de la conférence des ministres. Take note that the ministers' conference hall is on my left here. Notez que la salle de conférence des ministres est celle là à ma gauche. There is a big hall there. Il y a une grande salle par là. Which will start uh, tomorrow 7 a.m. Et qui commencera demain dès 7 h so du matin. At 2 p.m. in that same hall. À 14 heures dans cette même salle. For those of you in the Alpha location here. Pour ceux d'entre vous qui êtes ici au lieu Alpha. At 2:30 p.m. À 14 heures 30. The Lord will bless you. Le Seigneur vous bénira. The the second announcement is this. Voici la seconde annonce. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ. Il y aura un banquet spécial en ligne pour tous ceux-là qui nous suivent en ligne et qui ont donné leur vie à Christ. This will take place on the 2nd of April 2023. More details about this will be sent to you et on vous enverra plus de détails. At the convener of the GCK, selon l'organisateur de la CMK, will be delighted qui sera to have you join this special banquet. Qui sera content d'avoir ce, ce banquet spécial. Douala Believers Banquet on Sunday. Dimanche, c'est le, 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 le banquet second, spécial des gens de Douala. Will take place at the Holiness Chapel. Ancien route Bonaberry. Ce banquet aura lieu à la chapelle de la Sainteté, Ancien route Bonaberry. En face la station Africas. En face Face Station Africas. That is opposite Africas Petrol Station. C'est-à-dire en face la station Africas. Ancien route. À l'ancien route. Bonaberry Douala. Bonaberry Douala. The time will be 3 p.m. Ce sera à 15 if you just received your, if you will receive after you have received your miracle, après avoir reçu ton miracle, you are going to come here to share your testimony. Vous allez venir ici témoigner. And miracles will happen here live. Et les miracles vont se produire ici en direct. I thought you will say amen. Je croyais que vous allez dire amen. God has been using the man of God in many places. Dieu a, a utilisé l'homme de Dieu à plusieurs and this endroits. Night is going to be your own night. Et ce soir, c'est ton tour. So, counselors, are we through? Le Can conseil, we just indicate by hand show? Est-ce que nous avons fini? Indiquons en levant la main. Okay, you are done. Okay, vous avez All right, fini. it's remaining the left hand side here. Please do it quickly. On dirait qu'il reste un peu à ma gauche. Faites-le rapidement, s'il vous Do plaît. Do it quickly. Faites-le rapidement. Because you are ready for your miracle. Parce que vous êtes prêt pour vos miracles. Et faut dire amen. amen. Your miracle is coming. Votre miracle arrive. Once the man of God releases the word, une fois que l'homme de Dieu va relâcher les paroles, will be released. La puissance sera relâchée. Wherever you are, et partout où vous êtes, your miracle is sure. Vos miracles sont certains. This one you cannot dispute it. En effet, cet homme ne peut pas. Because it's going to be very clear. Parce que cette fois, ce sera très clair. The Lord will not pass you by. Le Seigneur ne te traversera pas. Okay. Our pastor will be coming. Notre pasteur arrive. The man of God is coming. L'homme de Dieu Rise arrive. Rise up and be ready to receive Je your miracle. Vous et soyez prêt à recevoir votre miracle. So. Praise the Lord. My miracle is here. Do you really believe that? Yes. I said, do you really believe that? Yes. My miracle is here. Yes. 
at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. At the mention of that name, your sickness will vanish away. At the mention of that name, every demonic power will bow out of your life. The Lord is ready for you now. If you need a miracle, you need a healing, you may lay your hand on yourself and raise up the other hand. Raise up that hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. It's coming now. At the final amen. Then you check up yourself. If you couldn't see before, you'll see. You couldn't walk before, you'll rise up and walk. And you had any visible infirmity or sickness in your body before, at the final, amen, open your eyes, everything is gone. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we glorify your name. We worship and adore you. You love everyone. And it is not your will that anyone shall continue in their suffering or sickness. And you have given us a promise. That when we call upon you, you will heal, you will deliver. I pray, Lord, that right now, touch everyone, heal everyone in Jesus' name. Insanity, infirmity in the head, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Every sickness, every pain in the body, I command you, in the name that can never fail, come out in Jesus' name. Sickness, whatever the name. Sickness on the inside. Sickness external in the body. Infirmity and pain. I command you be healed in Jesus' name. the name of Jesus destroy every work of the devil in your body healed you are healed in Jesus name free you are free in Jesus name Delivered, you are delivered in Jesus' name. The blind, you begin to see now in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb, begin to hear, begin to speak in Jesus' name. Lame, paralyzed, or maimed, receive your miracle healing right now. Thank you, Lord, because we know it's done. It is done. It is done. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray.
Your miracle is already there. Your healing is already there. Check up yourself now. You'll find you have got your healing, your deliverance, you've got your miracle. 